Hi everyone, I'm fishing a little trickle of a stream here today. I'm in Montana. Beautiful forest setting, nice and cool. There's a little breeze. I'm excited to get to fishing here today. I wasn't sure that there were fish in here, but I've walked up uh, past a couple of pools and there are indeed fish. I've spooked fish in here. Like in here, there were two catchable sized trout hanging out below this boulder here. And I'm gonna be fishing with a new rod today. I've had a couple of messages and emails from some of you guys about this rod. Uh, I actually don't even remember the, the brand. I think this is, is this a Shimotsuki rod? Uh, this is a super cheap eight foot or 240 centimeter Tinkara rod. Um, this was, I believe I paid 50 or $60 including shipping for this rod on eBay. If you buy it directly from Amazon Japan, it's like 40, you know, it's, it's less. Uh, I don't know how much shipping is, but it's either way, either way you go, it's a pretty cheap rod. I have fished this rod once before, uh, probably the first, in the first two or three times that I went fishing. Uh, my buddy Alex, shout out to Alex if you're watching this, uh, who taught me how to fish Tenkara. He had one of these rods and he loaned it to me. And so I did fish with this rod then. I might have, maybe I fished with it one other time apart from that, but uh, that was a while ago. And so I'm excited to fish with this rod here and now. Um, I'm gonna put a, I think we'll do a, a seven foot line on it. I don't have any eight foot lines on me right now. And so I'll put a, a seven footer on here and then we'll get to fishing. Gotta find deeper pools here. I'm not seeing a whole lot in the way of fishable water. Except that up there, that looks pretty good. Oh, we have a right side pool and a left side pool. Let's do the left side first. Cool creek, really scenic. Okay, I've been having some camera difficulties. I don't know what uh, what I've gotten on film and what I haven't. I've hooked into like three or four fish so far and uh, haven't been able to land any of them. So let's keep trying here. Oh, there we go. Come on. Got him. He came off the hook and into the net. And uh, it is a little cutthroat. It's a west slope cutthroat trout. See ya, buddy. Over to the right more, haven't fished this water yet. There we go. Oh my gosh. Got him. See you, buddy. A little bit bigger than the last one, maybe. Okay, couldn't get anything else in the pool to bite. Let's keep going up. Fish on. Let's bring him over here. Bring him in. There we go. Really pretty little fish. See you, buddy. My impressions of this rod so far are that it's it's fine. Like it's good. It's not at either end of the spectrum. It's not amazing. And it's not it's not bad. It's not terrible. It just kind of is. Fish on. Got him. Nice fish. Best one I think I've even hooked into today. Beauty. See you, buddy. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous. Look at that. We have a, a waterfall kind of cascading down the, the bare granite there, going down into this pool. Got a nice little swimming hole. Too bad it's kind of chilly outside. I think I'm gonna put a nine foot line on the rod to fish that. Be right back. 
Okay, got a nine foot line on here now. I wanted that extra length to cover a little bit more ground, a little bit more water in this large, really gorgeous spot. This is like a hidden mountain oasis here. The trail doesn't come anywhere close to this, I don't think. Oh, you see that? I had to take... Ooh, saw another little boil on the surface of the water. Ooh, I'm having a few different fish take it. There we go. None of them really connected. Got him. See ya, buddy. Ooh, a fish went up for it. I saw him come up and then go back down again. I thought he had the fly. I guess not. There we go. That one has it. Not the same fish. This one's a little bit smaller. Got him. Beautiful. Fishing to the left a little bit more. Anything? Anything over there? Yes. Oh. There we go. Oh, I can see the flies already out. Say hello to the fish. Let him go. See you, buddy. Anything else over there on the far left? Yes! Oh! Got off. How about to the right of there? Yes! Okay. This is... This is fun fishing. It is fast and furious. Even if you're not landing... Well, I can only speak for myself. Even though I'm not landing every single one I hook into. Come on. Oh! Almost landed that one. Uh, but I got off. Even though I'm not landing every single fish here, I mean, obviously lots of fish. This is far and away the best looking spot on the stream that I've seen, so not surprised. Ooh, not surprised there are fish there. Ooh, had one. Cross your fingers for me, guys. Hold your breath, cross your fingers. Oh, didn't hold your breath long enough. Keep going, keep holding. There we go. Oh, <gasps> the rod feels better with this, with this line on it. You know, I've fished eight foot rods with seven foot lines several times before, no problem. It felt a little off. Um, maybe the rod is a little bit stiffer than I first anticipated. I don't know. It's not an especially stiff rod, but it's not a super soft rod. Like if you're thinking of a very soft, willowy, supple Japanese rod, this rod isn't really that. Again, not a bad rod. Just gotta go in with the right expectations. Come on. There we go. Oh. Tiny fish. Little three incher. Very pretty. Okay, I think I've milked this main part of the pool for all it's worth. Let's go around to the, the front here, see if there's anything over here willing to bite. Yes, there is. Still on there, he's going down deep, or trying. Got him. Wild 
native cutthroat trout here in Montana. I mean, this is just amazing. Such a cool place to fish. There we go. Oh, come on. That's frustrating. So I've been wondering, oh yeah, there is another pool up here. I couldn't quite tell. Another really, really gorgeous little pool up here. I think that's gonna be the thumbnail for this video. Are there fish in here? Let's start kind of on the right side. It looks like the shallowest. Oh, yep. Oh, it came off. Definitely a fish though. Okay, let's try this left side. This looks juicy. There we go. Oh, come on. Fish on. And off. Dang it, what is happening? I feel like there's a disconnect between me and this rod. We're not quite clicking. And I don't know why. Or I'm just blaming the rod because I'm losing fish. That could be it too. Got him. Okay, we did catch a fish out of this little magical upper pool here. What a place to fish. I want to be like, are you seeing this? Of course you're seeing this. You're watching this video, but I mean, this is, this is really a special spot. A little cutthroat. To pull back the curtain a little bit, sometimes I, I like to film two videos in a day. And earlier today, I fished another stream about five miles away from here. I fished, it's like the same kind of size, you know, a small creek. I fished the, uh, the Nissan Air Stage Hakubai rod, and I lost far fewer fish. I lost maybe, I don't know, 20% of the fish that I hooked into. On this stream, I'm losing like half. And so, you know, it, it's, it's easy to say, oh, ha ha, I'm blaming the rod, but like I have something very recent to compare it to. Now that's like a $200 rod. That's an amazing 240 centimeter or eight foot rod. This one, I'm just, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not saying it's the rod. I'm not saying the rod is the reason, but it makes me wonder because I just fished a similar kind of stream with a similar rod and there's a fish. I don't know. Like I know people generally like this rod. Let me know what your experiences with it have been. My opinion is just one data point, you know? It's always good to read the comments when I fish with a new rod to get some other people's input. Man, there are a lot of fish in here. There are a lot of fish in here. In this upper pool, oh, come on. There we go. It's like a seven incher. Another fish on and off. Ooh, fish on and off. Oh, this looks awesome. I wonder if any of these smaller pools have fish. I'm guessing, I'm guessing, yeah, they've got to, right?
Yep, got one. See ya, buddy. They do indeed have fish in them. Fish on. Yes, that's a decent sized one. Let me get up a little bit higher so I can put him back in the same spot. Really pretty. See you, buddy. My line is all sorts of tangled around my net now. Now let's try what looks like the uppermost one, at least. Yeah, it looks like it. I don't know if it is. Yep. Came off. Okay, well, it looks like we're leaving this solid rock section behind. What an awesome thing to see. What an awesome place to fish. Let's keep going upstream. Oh, wow, guys. Another gorgeous hidden pool in the rocks. Wow. With another waterfall coming into it. So cool. Fish on. Got him. Very nice. Just amazing. What a fun place to fish. Fish on. Whoa, a big fish. I don't know if you guys see that, saw that. A big fish came out from underneath this rock right here. It was hiding there. It came out to like see what all the commotion was or something. That was like a probably 11 or 12 incher. This one is smaller. Six inches, seven inches, somewhere in there. I think that fish, that big one, scurried off. Fish on. Got him. Fly is out. Pretty fish. Fish on, good one. Might be the biggest one yet. Yeah, it is. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what a place to catch such a beautiful fish. It's 11 inches. 10, 11, 12, I don't know. Let me get a better look at him. Yeah, it's about a 10 incher. Wow. See ya, buddy. Well, I'm trying to decide if I want to call it or not. I mean, that is such a good fish to end on. I want to catch one more, and once I do, it'll become clear why. But uh, let's just catch one more fish. Even though that fish was just unreal, let's keep going. Catch one more, get one more in the net. Fish on. 
decent. Fighting hard. Got him. So this is fish number 20. That's why I wanted to keep going. I wanted to get to a nice round, even 20 fish. And we have pretty nice one actually. That's also a good one to end on. But I do want to fish that last, the last spot and then I promise we'll be done. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. See ya, buddy. Well, guys, if you couldn't tell, I'm kind of conflicted about this rod. For $50 either way, it's not bad. 50, 60, however many dollars. For that price, it's a good rod. But I guess I was just expecting more. Um, I just felt a little bit off fishing with it. Now, I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's fine. And it's good for the price. Uh, but I'll need to fish it a little bit more. See if I can be pushed more one way or the other. Or if I'll still just feel kind of fine about it. But um, I am not indecisive about this amazing creek that I fished. This is one of the, the best creeks I've fished, I think. Just as far as the, the fun of the fishing. Uh, just just awesome and the scenery i mean all time creek for me and i hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching again let me know what you think of this rod if you fished with it i know some of you have this rod i'm curious to hear your thoughts am i am i way off base or is this an awesome rod and i just need more time with it to to figure that out uh thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next one be sure to subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already and don't forget to check out my flytyingyarn.com store if you're looking for yarn for your fly tying needs. And then finally I have another YouTube channel called SUV RVing that covers all of my non-fishing adventures if you want to check that out. Links to all of those things and more will be in the video description.